Aw, it doesn't get any more romantic than that. All right, time to move on to our next date. Now, Marcus is an old friend of the show. He's had two dates that you could describe as, well, interesting. Now, for some reason, his first date, Candace, didn't like him hitting on other women during the date. Imagine that. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip the lime in the salt, all right? I think we're out of here. What is wrong with you? Why do you want to go now? We're having fun. <laughs> and Marcus was just getting started. On his second date with a girl named Milana, things got even worse. Go! Come on! Wait, 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 you just ripped my shirt! You just ripped my shirt! Okay, we can't get Marcus a new shirt, but we can get him a new date. Meet Misha. She's a model who says she's a hopeless romantic. Perfect. Let's hear what else she has to say. are going to jump right on top of you and make uh, sex jokes right off the bat. I'm not looking for the classic clown for my sexual encounters. I am very flexible and I'm very fit. Oh, I'm thinking Marcus's third time will be the charm. Or at least entertaining. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You ready to go? Sure. Great. Yeah. Let's go. You got it. Right. So nice to meet you. Yeah, how you doing? I'm doing good. It's a beautiful day. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I haven't really been outside much today. Where did you grow up? I'm, I'm from Kansas City. Oh, wow. I've yeah. driven through Kansas. It, it, it's in Missouri, but yeah. there's a oh. Kansas City, Kansas, but... It's, it's pretty cool there, I mean. Okay, so I've been to the Arch. That's in St. Louis. That's yeah. cool. I've got the right state now. Yeah. Cardinals, man. I don't know if you're a baseball fan or not. But... Oh, no. So where are you originally from here? Or? I just moved to California recently. I'm from New York City. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Go the Yankees. There. there you go. Dude, I hate the Yankees, the man. I the hate the Mets are okay. I mean, I was uh, definitely rooting for them in the in the series a couple years ago. But see, everybody from New York that I've met out here, they're like super cool. That's why it's like, oh, if right. I ever, yeah, I mean, I've Good never. Good answer, Marcus. No, no, they really are. I'm not just trying to like brown nose and them, but it's like, I mean, they're just like they're real. They're cool, you know. And it's like that's the one word right there, real. Yeah. You know, I never knew exactly what plastic meant when you move out here and you're like... Oh, I know. Hey. It's like everyone's so into the movie business and pretentious and... Well, you can be like in that. the movie business and it's not... It's still be normal. Yeah, but I'm just but saying, it, it, you just get a lot of these people. They're just a bunch of wannabes, you know, just like out there, just trying to be seen or whatever. They're just a bunch of wannabes. They're just a bunch of wannabes. They're just a bunch of wannabes. How are you? How you doing? What's your Roger. name? Roger. Roger. Uh, Regal and Excited Cake. Nice to meet you. Hi, Roger. Hi. I'm Misha. Okay. Somebody spent a lot of time on this. I mean, you guys can, like, yeah. whip this up in, like, a uh, few hours. And it will start wedding cakes, but we have other style of cakes, you know, Let's like see what you got. sexy cakes. A penis cake. We sell these very, very much, especially weekend. The penis cakes? Yeah. Are those women or guys? Too, yeah. Or bachelor. It's supposed to be a little bluer, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just make a cake and eat it, man. It's like, dude, this is a mess. offered us in college, man, one of those peripheral classes. Hey, we just Penis make... cake 101. Yeah, it's like, just... I used to bake cakes all the time back in my younger days. No, I'll never... All right, is that is this, enough? Is this the proper way? Well, not really, but they keep doing good. Dude, you should make, like, some tan lines or something. Mm, yeah. Yeah. What is it you do? What is it? I mean, I didn't even oh. bother to ask. I'm sorry. Well, but would you like to know? Sure, yeah. I'm an actress and a model. Okay. Like, everyone's just so so into the movie business. And they're just like, they're just a bunch of wannabes. They're just a bunch of wannabes. But I'm not one of the plastic people in the business. <laughs> yeah, you're Because cool I'm from New York, and I'm real. Yeah, we I, know. Ones, I right? know. Yeah. Uh, it's a craft. Acting is a craft. You have to develop it. Uh, you have to take schooling, and you have to have experience. 
And some people get plucked right up to the top and have a starring role. But I don't think that, you know, how many people are rock stars? I don't think it happens. You like my little guy here? Mr. Amphibian Man. Look Is that who you have? Yeah, dude. Man? Mr. Amphibian Man. Now, Rod, you, Rod took me up with him, man. Did, did, did you name him Mr. Amphibian Man, or did yeah. he come with that name? No, I, I named him that. I'm sure he's got a different... Help! Help! Oh, oh don't be doing this. Sorry. Watch Little Children. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I will help you. Mr. I am Mr. Amphibian You drive. You drive. <laughs> Look, I oh, got, you got your toy. I got Mr. Uh, oh, Mr. Amphibian Man is going to sit here and have some dinner. <laughs> I'm going to share something really intimate right now. I never had a Barbie doll growing up. Oh, yeah? I never had Barbie doll clothes. What's so intimate about that? Well, it's pretty intimate. I'm a girl girl. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah. Uh, I, don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where you're going with that. <laughs> I had no idea. I know. I had no Ching. idea. What, dude, I, you lost me somewhere at the Barbie doll and the... <laughs> so I don't know. I'm not... Charlie's a waste of time, man. All right. <laughs> Mr. Amphibian, man. Screw him. You go ahead. He's a jerk. You're such a jerk, Mr. Amphibian Man. <laughs> All right. There's this it. thing that's coming out of my purse. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's got me. It's got me. I don't know what happened. Excuse me. I Dude. used the Lord's name. Um, you didn't just throw Mr. No, Amphibian No, no. You know what? This monster from my purse just attacked. I'm so Dude. sorry, too. Sure. Sure. I'm just playing. <laughs> I you didn't just throw it. It was a great play. Cheers. Yeah, but you, you just... You, you, I'm not gonna... Well, hold on. I think that cheer. You just threw Mr. Amphibian there. No, you already clinked. All right. So, go home with your toys. I'll see you. Au revoir. Adios. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Me and Mr. Amphibian Man hanging out again. Amphibian man with the afro. <laughs> I think Misha made the right move there. I mean, what woman could possibly compete with Mr. Amphibian Man? And when we come back, we'll hear from Misha and Marcus, and maybe even get a word from Mr. Amphibian Man. See you in a minute. Welcome back to the show. Now, before the break, we watched a third strike dater named Marcus strike out with a model named Misha. Now, they talked a little baseball, took a bakery lesson, and Marcus revealed his special friend, Mr. Amphibian Man. Enough said. It just really made me feel like I was playing second best to Aquafine Man. Give you a little drinky drink for Mr. Amphibian Man, not too much. Marcus is definitely the last teenager I'll ever date. This girl's not my thing. He's looking to get drunk and watch sports, and I think he can do that without a girl. Well, yeah, he can, but who's gonna make the sandwiches? 